ladies and gentlemen once again uh, welcome to the fourth and final uh, media conference uh, of uh, this uh, fifa series sri lanka edition representing uh, sri lanka is uh, head coach andrew morrison and representing uh, the team is uh, sujan pereira so to start things off uh, coach i think uh, you have a kind of a positive headache uh, with a lot of uh, players uh, coming in so how are, are you prepared uh, for the next two games well we've obviously been in for a uh, we've obviously been in now for a a period of time heading towards five weeks working with um you know the sri lanka based players and they've worked incredibly hard um but then obviously over the last four or five days we've gradually had them periodically come in from abroad so um you know it's been it's been a great experience for for everyone the players the sri lanka based players you know have actually embraced overseas players coming in and there's been a great camaraderie um with it comes problems because they haven't played together you know we're bringing players in from all over the world who have never um you know don't know each other very well they met maybe 15 months ago in um in qatar at the camp we had but you know to build relationships to understand positional wise you know it's a lot of work that's got to be done in a very very short period of time but we're all very very excited you know apart from those challenges that come along we're also very very excited uh sujan so uh, again uh, the same question goes out to you uh, new players uh, new changes and i think uh, the two games uh, as a senior member of the team uh, what are you looking forward to in the next two games uh then maybe good at the team at the time if i meeting uh sati hai this happy training kara good at uh up it up it make a body got the ip senior slay i think it is a overseas ape ape ma blood ekak thiyena ape ma saudara thama avilla ene thin e golonge experience experience at ekak man hitana api me taranga waliyata mulima api api andura ganna one thin ekata matches gahanna one thin meka man hitanne pera sudanama meka friendly yanne e thin api api andura ganna loko honda avasthawak kiyala thama kiyanne thin Yes. Uh, once again, uh, the questions uh, I'll ask. Uh, the mic will be sent around. The first question goes out to uh, Prince. Uh, Prince. Ape inno etana da hatra dene kavi dene dene. Ah, good act changes. Da kine kulo me. Aika kiyan na behda mo taam. Okay. Uh, so the question was. Uh, I'll need to uh, translate. Uh, so the question was, uh, how many uh, new players uh, are involved uh, in the national team, and how many would they see uh, on the pitch? So what he said was, there'll be uh, quite a few uh, changes on the pitch. Yeah. The next question, please. From uh, Mustak. Yeah. ඇතර මේ තරංගය ඇවිල්ලා මේ අපි ඇත්තටම අපි කොහෙද ඉන්නේ කියලා දැනගන්න එකක්. ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ අපි අපි ඇත්තටම පිළිගන්නවා අපි 205 තමයි FIFA ranking ඉන්නේ. ඉතින් opponent ගැන respect කරනවා ඒගොල්ලෝ කොහොම ආවත් අපි අපි වඳුර ගන්න අපි කොහොමද සෙල්ලම් කරන්න ඕනේ අපේ style එක කොහොමද ඒ දේවල් දැනගන්න තරංගයක් තමයි ඉතින් මේක. ඉතින් මේක ඉදිරි ගමන ගැන තීරණය වෙන තරංගයක් මම හිතන අපේ කණ්ඩායම හොඳින් සූදානම් වෙලා ඉන්නවා කියලා. Thank you. ඉන්න I think the burning question is who is Sri Lanka's captain going to be For for me from the moment I came in um Sujan has been the captain he's the leader um everyone respects him in the group and the players that have come in have the ultimate respect for him and the way he carries himself you know so Sujan is the captain we want to look at something give other people an opportunity to lead see how they would lead um if Sujan wasn't available you know who would be the natural the person to step up and become the captain we looked at that over the two yemen games 
Um, so I know now if um, if Sujan's not available, I know in Chari, I know in Harsha, I've got two leaders that will you know lead us with great pride. Just just one more question from uh, Mr. Andy. Okay, uh, coming, uh, shall I come okay. back to you? Yes. Uh, Sujan, uh, Sahina, Kale got a passata my Navata, Jatan the PTA to Sri Lanka, Papan Kadam, Avatir and Vendi. Uh, the Kote, Abioga, Tek, Nevera Kandaime, Videshia, Kriteko, Inno, Sri Lanka, Samba, Vesaita. It would own Gekatuima, Tek, Naika with the Monoagi, Vishwasa, the TNA, Obidri, the Monadin in Taranga Sambandi. Yeah, the question was uh, Sri Lanka team is uh, playing after some time and there have been uh, new additions to the team. So, how the team is uh, prepared uh, for the upcoming uh, two match challenge? I said, like you again, I said, 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 I think මේ තරගය ඇත්තටම ඔපොනන්ට් ගැන බලනකොට වඩා අපි අපේ කණ්ඩායම කොයි වගේ ශක්තිමත්ද කියලා දැනගන්න තරගයක්. ඉතින් මම හිතනවා අපි අපේ උපරිම කරොත් මේ තරග දෙක ඉතාමත් හොඳින් අවසන් කරන්න පුළුවන්. Sujan's answer was uh, this is an opportunity for us to learn as well because uh, still in the early stages of uh, getting to know each other and again uh, had a couple of uh, practice uh, uh, sessions uh, in Doha as well some time back and then uh, an opportunity for game. It's about uh, learning and learning uh, quickly. Yes. What is the difference? Sorry. Um, well, you'll find out. Uh, <laughs> You'll find out we've uh, we've got a lot to learn. You know, we've got a lot. We've had to pick up a lot of information. The players in a very very short period of time, maybe two or three days. Um, you know, I'm I'm mindful that it's been such a period of time without games. We've had two games in over twenty months. Um, Papua New Guinea played ten games in the last year. You know, this is the where they are actually in their journey and where we are. Um, the, for me, it's a new start. Uh, it's a new opportunity. It's a it's a great opportunity for the players that have come in to show that they're good enough to step into this squad and this group. And I've said already a few times that, you know, the overseas players and the Sri Lanka base players, but going forward from after this camp, it will be the Sri Lanka squad. It'll be as simple as that because we will have chosen the players we believe are good enough to step up and join the Sri Lanka players. And then going forward, that will be how we'll work it. It won't be a separate, you think, look at any country, you know, they have overseas players come in, whatever, and it's all as a one. Um, strategy. That'll be on the match day. We don't, don't want to give too much away. Uh, coach, uh, QA strategies again, I think, uh, match day, give Balagan Puluan Kela, Eva game, Tamai, uh, the Sri Lanka team maker, Antima Master, we say, uh, matches, uh, Dekakwa Gitama Galatin, Namut, uh, Paponi, Vinia, E, uh, Kale, Aturuturama, matches the Haya Galatin, I think, uh, Godak, uh, Venasakina, Namut, uh, match again, uh, can going forward, uh, team maker on the prepare Vela, and it matches well at, uh, Sabag Vina, Balapurtuna, uh, so the next question, uh, Akhil. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, Sujan on being the captain once again. And the question is for coach uh, about regarding the Sri Lankan base players. For the last four or five years, they have gone through a lot. They went through a ban. They didn't have international games. So, they didn't have a contract. Or so. They had a lot of issues. So, uh, but now they are with a very good coach who is renowned internationally and some players who are coming from overseas as well. A uh, few words about their dedication towards the game. It's just difficult for me really to say anything that I haven't already said because um, they're an absolute credit. Um, it's remarkable the resilience, the adversity, what they've had over these last three or four years, as you've just said. Unprecedented in world football. Um, there's no other nation that have ever had to deal with what they've had to deal with in this period of time. And I turn up um, over a month ago and they're smiling, they're enthusiastic, they want to work, they want to represent their country, and they'll do everything they possibly can uh, to get into that team. And, and, and that's testament to every single one of them. And, you know, that's it. That's um, reflected by the captain. Um, you know, as you said, it's, it's January 2022 was the last domestic football. And then the international football, we had the Yemen games, but before that was June the year before. Incredible what they've had to come through. 
um, and then try and prepare in four or five weeks without that time. You know, I spoke to the, the, the overseas players that have come in and they sort of said they have a pre-season where they have four or five weeks off and then they come back and they struggle with injuries and they're trying to get back into the rhythm. Our players go four, five, six months without any football and then they've got to try and represent the country and never once have they ever shied away from that. So, um, you know, I'm incredibly proud of them and you all should be as well. Yeah, uh, Akil's uh, question was uh, about the Sri Lanka based players. Uh, I think uh, Sri Lanka based players like in uh, Tamai coach King, how we own gay Sabagitwe can training well come the Sabagi Unikila coach gay Pilitrone can go back to Skarata Tamai, Madatamai team maker. We can eat Sri Lanka based players like Sabag Villa in FIFA band negative by it pass it. Uh, matches with net tournaments out net. Who I think uh, only uh, Kapabima uh, who uh, Age Karno, I wagam idirita etate balapurtuana. Uh, next question, Alta. I think it's I think it's really important that I, that I make it clear now that the players are coming in, you know, to be assessed. You know, it's a fact finding camp that are based on friendly, um, friendly games. Um, so it's an opportunity, and I've said to the players that they must take this opportunity to go forward with Sri Lanka football. Um, nobody has got a right to be in the squad unless they're good enough. We have um, we have exceptional players. We have younger players that are coming through now that are based in Sri Lanka and hopefully when the domestic season starts we'll start to see that quality grow but there's no players that have come in that are, are cemented in the squad they're here over the next two games to prove to us to prove to the coaching staff and to prove to you also that they're good enough to be part of the group and um, so I, I hope that makes it clear what these two games are all about to a de great degree I know so much about the Sri Lanka players I know every single thing, but I know the way they're going to walk into training. I know which way they turn left or right. I know everything about them. These players, I'm still learning. Um, and, you know, there's obvious talent there without a shadow of doubt. But it's about them to go and say, I'm good enough to be in this group. I want to be there in June when we play the next games. Altaf, the question of the Sri Lanka team in Yemen match is that the local base players are going to be in the local base players. Uh, mix win, I think, uh, coach Gapilitrone, Tama, Kartwat, uh, can cemented place, a confirmed place, a team again. Eh, Ivagamitama, Hamotam opportunity got Tino, Ivagama, Sri Lanka based players like a Hamadiakma coach done, I think, at the me, and with the foreign based players like, uh, Ganatama, then again, a team, eating maker, uh, again, a Ganima, equipping again again, a Sri Lanka team maker on the Tatuka again, a Tama, who gave a lap to the next question. Okay, uh, uh, he's asking the question about the uh, two night matches. Match the Gatra, my Moga the Godak, a bit, he make a fasting current lama in me, 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 season against I think me, my don't know, good a pants are at the Nabuluang, Ratri Tarangas, Lankarana, Balan, I think, uh, pants are a rather than Hagan Atra in the Gilamoga. Football culture ka kapi hadan na hadan ne football make a generation change ka gain na hadan anything. Mahitano fans lau kama apitte kindi da dawse apitte hundar selang karan na hundar tarangya ek din na ego lau apitte kindi. Okay, uh, his uh, answer was a uh, lot of the players are fasting as well uh, since this is the Ramadan season and uh, an opportunity for the fans as well uh, to come and uh, watch uh, Sri Lanka play uh, the two games uh, in the night and hopefully he's uh, welcoming all the fans uh, to be there at uh, 8.45 on uh, the 22nd and the 25th. So the next question, uh, Arshad? Yeah, so John, we have a lot of people who have a lot of people who have a lot of people who have a I think me Yemen match ka belu na ngape isra selang nokarapu players la keep the nick or six players la villa selang ka. Namut me series ka baladi ita vada wedding players la goda ke katuela inna abit tekka. Ota oya dirga kaliya kanda me niyojne karna deshte kiri deke kwashing. Denata velati na oya daki na vena samona wada score deke. Okay, Arshad's question was 
since the two games against Yemen, there have been some uh, big changes, a uh, lot of inclusions into the side. And uh, as a senior player, Sujan, how do you see uh, that impact on the players as a whole? Atterama goda carry line ne, honda light players like gollo atterama team me gada goda quality ka gaye no. I think mahesh ne ape ape ka kita apni atterama match se Lanka ne goda khadu gaye na apni Super League ka kat apni hai na se Lanka ne kaale kham bunne. I think ape players la da goda kde wali gane ganu thi no. I gollonge I gollo ko hamad gaps or da duan ne I gollo ko hamad passes den ne. I think ek mangita ne TV ke balan aata da live I gollo nta I gollo teke se Lanka la di share kar gane experience ei ganu goda atterama ape team me ke inne goda youngsters line no. Okay, uh, Sujan Zansabaz, uh, there are a lot of uh, elite players, uh, I mean, uh, from uh, the foreign based uh, players and uh, from the local aspect, uh, the players have uh, played a very less amount of uh, matches, but for them to learn, there's a lot to learn, including sharing the experience, even the little things. Rather than watching it on TV, they have the opportunity of uh, learning them uh, at practice and in uh, close quarters. Uh, next question, uh, Bemindu. Uh, the question was uh, once again more or less in the same lines. Uh, Sujan, uh, you've uh, had the experience of uh, playing with uh, different levels of players and with the new inclusion of these players. Uh, what sort of uh, uh, change that you see in terms of skill and uh, talent levels? I think Maithano, api api lama ini tak gudak kau dah dek imak. Mereka loko kau muda hasil ni, mereka loko kau muda dawasa kewan ni. Hemat dek mak langing dakin na puluang ni mereka lonti ting mak. Maithano, mai kandai me inna anit kiri dek ente mereka kau dah dek imak. Mereka lonti kasih langkaran ni. Yes, uh, so uh, Sujan Zansa was. Uh, it's a lot to do with uh, not only on the pitch but uh, off the pitch as well. Uh, handling of the players and uh, their professional unit and also how they how they spend their day not only on the pitch but uh, outside of the field as well um, well we've got 12 in the squad and we've also got um, four of the younger boys um, that have joined us who I thought had done really well in the previous camp maybe not quite ready to step up um, there's still players that are ahead of them but there's real potential there um, so we've invited them in they've joined in training they've trained with uh, with us as a group um, and they're staying in the hotel so I think it's a terrific gesture you know to make that effort to make them feel involved because they are the next generation coming through uh, Coach Pilituruni, all the players like Dulaha Kutina, Iva Gema, youngsters like Sri Lanka based players like Hatharapas Dene Kutino, I think own Hondata can training with Saba Givila Tina, but Tamat national team make it in a level like a Madi Namut Giridi, Goda Deval team make win win who Balapurthuino. Next question to uh, Prince. Yes, uh, the question was uh, like uh, there have been uh, 14 players uh, that has uh, the federation has done to uh, get them here. But uh, how do you see Sujan, uh, the local based talent and also about uh, the club players uh, playing uh, here in Sri Lanka? What's the future for them? Uh, Api rank ke kisah hati ane ane, api responses lain, atau hamadeh mana hadi no. Ini mungkin ane mandakinya di dia 
ගොඩක් අපේ ක්‍රීඩකයන්ට opportunity එක අඩු වෙන්න පුළුවන්. හැබැයි මම හිතන්නේ league structure එක ඒ හැමදේම මීට වඩා strong වෙනවා. අපේ rank එක ඉස්සරහට යද්දි super league එක ඔක්කොම හොඳ වෙනවා. ඉතින් මම හිතනවා දැන් දැනු team එකේ ගොඩක් youngsters ලා ඉන්නේ. ඉතින් ඒගොල්ලොත් හොඳට සෙල්ලම් කරනවා. ඒගොල්ලොත් fight කරනවා අර ඉන්න ආපු කට්ටියත් එක්ක. ඉතින් මම හිතනවා ඒකේ ප්‍රශ්නයක් වෙන්නේ නැති වෙයි කියලා. uh sujan sees uh, the positive uh, side of uh, i mean uh, foreign players players uh, coming to sri lanka because uh, sri lanka playing the matches and hopefully winning would uh, bring them uh, up the rankings and also in terms of uh, sponsors and sponsorships as well and also uh, the league structure will uh, get much more robust and will get stronger so that with that the level of players the quality of players the skills of them would uh, improve and it will uh, benefit uh, sri lanka in the short and the mid to long runs thank you uh, yeah come my, my coach is act- uh, sorry my question is actually di- directed to the coach and it's it's the same thing as the previous question but can i just frame it in a different way because you're a title winning captain with manchester city and because you've seen uh, seen this sort of thing happen the fact that there are a lot of outbound or external players coming into the squad but you get to see very little academy players coming up you can equate that to the current situation with sri lanka with a lot of players who are playing in foreign leagues coming in but maybe and according to social media people are saying that the local players don't get a chance but from your experience what can you say to those people who are concerned about that are we talking about the present the past or the future present well the present is there's a lot of work going in um you know it, it, i think it's clear that um you know the, the pathway from grassroots football through to the national team is something that needs to be worked at and um, we have to develop players there are players i see talent um but too often i think at a certain age they seem to drift away maybe into education or a different sport there's talented athletes or sportsmen You know, I watched a recent um, rugby game. I think it was uh, the Navy against the police, um, and I rang a couple of the from the federation, and I said, well, "How are these players? Where are these six foot two lads who are built like this? Where, where, where are they?" And, yeah. um, and then they're there. They're there. The players are there, but they've got to be able to find a pathway in football that gives them an opportunity to to create a livelihood and a living, and that's really important. Um, I believe that. you know the the very very early stages where we're looking at right across the country how we can implement that um and give everyone an opportunity you know the players of today have had a really tough period i'm very mindful of that and when i took the role of manager and um, when we met in in qatar i was so mindful of how i was going to marry the two up and how gentle we had to be with that because of obviously the questions that will arise um but the players have been given um great opportunity against the Yemen and in 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 um the Asia's in in Uzbekistan uh, and I have an idea a clear idea in my head who I think can step up and, and play and you know the players um which is the question from earlier on their the way they've embraced the last two years and even at the camp with the information they've taken on board from abroad when we had the the nine months unfortunately when we were banned you know they stayed fit and when we first came in from Uzbekistan I think collectively across the same amount of squad I think we're 38 kilograms lighter as a group than we were when we started. So there's things they're taking on board and you know and as I've said the players that have come in you know if you're not fit if you're not up to the standards that are required you you'll be sent home because we have to have the highest standards expected. And um, so I think it's more of a federation president question and the future of football but you know I know the raw talent is there. um there's a lot of talented kids like and we've been at Sugadasa the last few weeks um training and there's kids everywhere athletes the enthusiasm and the desire and the humbleness is incredible um and you can only produce good sports people with that raw ingredients that we have we have to find a way to develop it thank you mr morrison okay the question from uh, coming was uh, now uh, with the foreign based players uh, coming in again uh, foreign based players la in aking uh, academy players la uh idiriyata clubs waling eida nadda anne question ekak thamai prashna thamai thibbe ithin coach ki pilithurune federation ekak hatiyata e wageema kandama hatiyata e kridakayanta path ekak ekak yana margayak hadala diya yutui 
ක්‍රීඩකයන් ඉදිරියට ඒමට උන්ට ඔපෝර්චුනිටි එක තියෙනවා ඒ වගේම තමයි ඔහු පහුගිය රග්බි මැච් එකක් බලලා තියෙනවා නේවි පොලිස් මැච් එක ඉතින් ඒකෙත් ඒ කියන්නේ අඩි 6ට වඩා උස ප්ලේයර්ස්ලා ඉඳලා තියෙනවා ඉතින් මේගොල්ලන් කොහෙද ඒ කියන්නේ අන්න එතනදී තමයි ඒ කියන්නේ ක්‍රීඩකයන්ට විශේෂයෙන් පාපන්දු ක්‍රීඩකයන්ට ඒ මාර්ගය national team එකට ඒ කියන්නේ clubs වලට එන මාර්ගයක් හදලා දීම තමයි ඉදිරියේදී විය යුත්තේ ඒ වගේම ඔහු දන්නවා මේ වගේ ඒ කියන්නේ ලොකු බැර ඇරුම් දෙයක් ඒ කියන්නේ මැරේජ් එකක් වගේ තමයි තියෙන ඒ කියන්නේ foreign based players ලයි local based players ලයි team එකට එකතු කිරීම ගොඩක් ප්‍රශ්න එන්න පුළුවන් ඒ කියන්නේ ගොඩක් දැන් කවින්ක කිව්වා social media වලත් ගොඩක් කතා බහ වෙන දෙයක් ඉතින් කොහොමද ඒ මේක කරන්නේ හැමෝම හැමෝටම සාධාරණයක් වෙන විදිහට කටයුතු කිරීම තමයි ඔහුගේත් බලාපොරොත්තුව next question නාමල් මේ මේ මොහොත වෙනකොට ලංකාවේ දේශීය තරඟ ඩොමෙස්ටික් තරඟ අත්හිට වෙලා තියෙනවා මාස ගණනාවක් වෙනවා මේක කොහොමද මේ මේක බලපාන්නේ මේ රටේ පාපන්දු දියුණුවට සහ ඔබ තව කොච්චර කාලයක් කණ්ඩායමේ රැඳින්න බලාපොරොත්තු ඉන්නවද මේ අලුත් ක්‍රීඩකෝ දෙන නිසා ඔකේ ද ක්වෙස්චන් වොස් නව ද ඩොමෙස්ටික් ෆුට්බෝල් හැස් බීන් ස්ටැග්නන්ට් ෆෝ වෙරි ලොන්ග් ටයිම් ඇන්ඩ් හව් වුඩ් දැට් ඉෆෙක්ට් ද ටීම් ඇන්ඩ් ඔල්සෝ හව් ලොන්ග් ආ යු ගෝයින් ටු බී representing sri lanka man hitanne palaweni eka president gin thamai ahanno ne deweni eka avilla mama mage anga thama fit mata therena mata sri lanka anna puluwan kiyala thamat ithin mage dekata inna malli last wenai passe mata hitena ithunoth eya last e kiyala e welawata mama ettarama bar deela yanna last e um sujan's answer was the for the first one it's a question that should uh, go to uh, the football federation and the president as well and uh, the answer for the second one how long is he going to be playing for sri lanka uh, he says uh, he is uh, still fit and if he feels uh, that uh, his uh, number 2 is uh, ready and uh, ready to be the number 1 uh, he'll be uh, always uh, ready to uh, relinquish his uh, playing this thing next question that's about it no other questions so we'll wrap things off uh, there's uh, once again the photo opportunity right in front uh, sujan and if uh, coach and morrison could uh, come up in front for the photo opportunity and uh, just a reminder to all the media personnel on the 22nd that's uh, tomorrow the first match is at uh, 3 pm central african republic against bhutan and at 8:45 it's uh, sri lanka versus uh, papua new guinea and on the 25th Central African Republic against Papua New Guinea at uh, 3 p.m. and at 8.45 Sri Lanka playing against uh, Bhutan on the 25th. Thank you, gentlemen.